Okay, so here is a demonstration of all of the outline stitches that I showed you this morning. The first one I'm working on is the straight stitch, um, also called the running stitch. So you can see here I'm going down and then coming up all in one, one go. So you want to leave just a small tiny gap between those stitches and make your stitch length and the gaps um, the same as you possibly can. Now the gap is a little bit smaller, but you want the gaps to be consistent. So each gap is going to be the same width and your stitch length is also going to be the same width. So for sake of just getting the demo done, I didn't do any finishing on the back. So the next stitch is the back stitch. This is a nice continuous line that you can use for outlining. So you bring up your stitch and then you're going to put your needle in again behind it and then bring it up in front of it. And then your next one's going to go into the front of the last stitch down and then up on the other side and repeat. So you go down and then you bring it up in front and pull. So that is your back stitch. But if you're just getting started, you can just do the up and down, but you can switch and do it all in one motion. Just takes a little practice. So again, I'm just snipping these quickly. So the next stitch is called the split stitch. And that's because you make a stitch and then you go back and your needle comes up within the strands of your thread. So you come up and you make one full stitch and down. And then for the split stitch, you're going to come up in the center of this stitch, pull it up, and then moving forward, back down. And now I got a little there, pulled it through clean. So now it will be in the center of your last stitch, but it will also be coming up at the point where you're at the end of the very first stitch. So you're coming up, splitting the strands in half. So it's a little thicker. It might give a little bit more definition. And one more time coming up in the center and then back down to end it. So that one's called the split stitch. Oh, one more. If you have any trouble um, with any of these stitches, please feel free to stop by the store or give me a call. I can do a quick zoom with you too. So the next stitch is called the chain stitch. We're getting a little bit decorative here. So essentially you're going to be making loops and then sewing at the end of the loop. So you bring your thread up from the bottom You're going to make a loop and hold down with your thumb and you're going to go back in and come up the length you want your loop to be. Then make your loop, go back into that same spot where you came up with the thread and create your next stitch. Slowly pull it off to the side and stop when you get to your length of the chain. That you want and repeat and again I'm doing this I'm doing the down and up motion all together where this morning we just did a down stitch and then up more slowly but you can switch into doing it like this and that's where you will want to have probably a thimble if you're 
using your fingers underneath to direct the needle. So the chain stitch is a nice uh, stitch for doing as an outline, um, <clears throat> as a border perhaps. And don't forget to play with some colors. Okay, so I'm going to snip the threads at the back. And we'll do the last, the last stitch is called the stem stitch. And like its name, it is used for doing flower stems. And you can use it on curves, on letters. So here we go. So you create your first stitch. So it might be a little bit bigger than the stitches above because you're going to come in at the bottom of the stitch in the center and then back down. And then you're going to come up from the bottom underneath the stitches in the center of your last stitch. And I got a little loop on the back, so I'm just trying to fix that up, straighten the threads up. So, there we go. So we're going to go forward, down, pulling the thread down underneath. And if you get a little bit of a loop, you just have to pull those apart. So again, bring up your needle in the center and below the last stitch you just did. That's called the stem stitch. So all of these stitches are considered outline stitches or border stitches. Very versatile. So there you go. And I'm just going to snip my threads. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoy a little bit of an embroidery.